You may think that all of this marine life is happening somewhere far out in the ocean. But no, it is actually happening right below this very floating platform where I am standing on. Look, there's already something there! Ah, can you see? Keppel Bay is located around the Teluk Blanga area and local legends apparently claim that Sang Nila Utama first arrived on the beaches here. The waterway in Keppel Bay had been used as a passage for ships and it was then transformed into a bustling harbour which contributed to the prosperity of the island and the guy who discovered and contributed to this progress is called Captain Henry Keppel. Hence, it is called Keppel Bay. Today, Keppel Bay has been transformed from a bustling shipyard to a world-class waterfront precinct with pristine clear waters. Wow! There's a lot of corals here! Look at all the corals here! Why are there so many corals around here? The marina at Keppel Bay is close to fringing and patch reefs of the southern islands which brings in marine larvae, including swimming larvae by corals. So when these larvae find a suitable spot, they will settle and attach onto it to grow into new colonies and these pontoon surfaces happen to be very suitable. There are two ways in which you can get up close to the corals here. The first way is to join the Coral Rock Tour that is conducted by either the Lee Kong Chien Natural History Museum or Cuttlefish, both of which have trained guides that can arrange tours upon request. And the second way is to follow cuttlefish into the water! Cuttlefish also conducts other unique tours where you can be in the water and observe marine life up close, such as their snorkeling tours and even diving tours. So today, we're going to join them on a snorkeling tour! <laughs> Please, oh my god, it's a very cute nerdy break! Hey MJ, yes? how deep is the water here? Well, the water is pretty deep at 15 meters since it was a shipyard previously. The pontoon platforms are 1.5 to 2 meters thick and their edges are filled with marine life. When you walk on the pontoons, you will only see the top 50 cm of what is available. But when you're snorkeling, you'll see a whole new world! And we're going to explore it right now! Deeper down at the sea floor and under the sea walls, you'll find many echinoderms such as sea stars and feather stars, as well as stingrays, crabs and lobsters. Yes, you heard right, lobsters. By the way, I think there's a local resident Nemo around here, so that will be our end goal for today, to find Nemo! For a coral reef to form and thrive, we need three main factors to be in place. First, you need a hard and sturdy surface for the coral larvae to attach themselves and grow. Second, we need a constant flushing of seawater to provide nutrients to the corals and also the flushing out of seawater to help sweep away sedimentation. Last but not least, the corals will need clear waters and a good level of sunlight to photosynthesize, which the pontoons provide as it moves up and down with the tide, ensuring that our corals growing on the side will always be able to receive enough light. The corals here are amazing. There's a lot of zoanthids, there's a lot of acidias. There's a few carpet and anemones here. The hard corals here create skeletons out of calcium carbonate and over time, this hard rocky substance builds up to form the foundation of a coral reef and also provide a structure upon which other marine organisms such as fanworms, nudibranchs and even seahorses can settle on. Below here, we have a huge aquapora coral. They're one of the more resilient corals that we have in Singapore and in fact, MPAX and the other researchers at TMSI, they are using it to propagate and plant more corals around Singapore which we have shown in our previous video. You may check it out. The soft corals, on the other hand, do not have a stony skeleton and hence do not build reefs. However, they provide food and shelter to many smaller reef organisms and some of them have bright colours that add a splash of vibrancy to our coral reef ecosystem. Other animals and plants will continue to contribute to the structure of coral reefs. Algae, sponges, mollusks, they all add to the architecture and complexity of coral reefs and each organism plays an important role within the ecosystem. I feel fishes are all nibbling away here. Uh, they've been eating on any and crossing algae that's on the wall so they have like a snout-like beak to nibble away and graze on the algae. Just like the base of a pizza, corals serve as a strong foundation which will then lead to a thriving marine ecosystem teeming with biodiversity. What's that? It's a sergeant major fish. It's a huge fish. Does it knock you down? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I found a seahorse! It was just clinging in front of me, tiny one with the tail! <laughs> oh wait, let me show you! Oh! I think I saw a big patch of magnificent anemone up ahead! Nemo might be there! Let's go, let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, hello! 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 We found Nemo! It's hiding within the tentacles of the magnificent anemone, it's super cute! You have to be quiet because it's a bit shy, so hopefully it'll come out again. 
Oh, yeah, the only noisy one. The wide variety of marine flora and fauna here did not just happen purely by chance. It was the concerted efforts of Keppel Land and the community here to protect what we have and put in the effort to bridge both development and conservation by transforming our urban landscape favourable for marine life to thrive. As our country progresses towards becoming a city in nature, the city reefs here at Marina at Keppel Bay is a prime example to show how we can seek innovative solutions to restore our ecosystem onto man-made structures in an urban setting, as long as we choose to commit to it. <sighs> It's really fun. And it's, it's so easy, like, you don't even need to know how to die. You can see such amazing creatures. I'm really amazed by the rich marine biodiversity that you can find here, and I hope you guys are wowed by it as well. In fact, all of this snorkeling has made me quite hungry, so I think I'll be grabbing a bite at one of these restaurants before heading out. Anyway, please do check out the various marine life discovery tours here at Marina at Keppel Bay through their website via the link below. That's all for today. Just keep thinking.